I'm back. Is everything working? I think it is. Sorry about missing the past couple weeks of uploads. I've been super busy with clients and haven't really had time to dive into anything in detail, but I got a quick one for you today. Let's get into it. <laughs> So let's say you bring up addictive drums or easy drummer or contact drums and you want to program the drums, but all of you don't know what's what because it just looks like this. Ugh. How am I supposed to remember which ones are which? Well, you can name those notes with a little trick. There's actually a couple ways to do it. You can do it with a MIDI rack. Today we're going to be doing it with a drum rack just because I think it's easier and a little bit faster. So here we have our nifty difty contact drums. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and group that into an instrument rack. You can just hit Control G and it will become a group. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click these little guys down here and that's gonna open up our chains. Now we need to create a new chain and what we can do is we're just gonna go into instruments and grab a drum rack. Okay, we're gonna rename this. We don't need to rename it. Now you can go ahead and mute that because we're not actually using it for audio. We're just using it to name the clips. So now you need to grab literally anything. Uh, I'm just going to use a utility. You have to have something on a pad in order to name it. So we're just going to have a utility and we're going to turn it off. Now that gives us this chain. So we're going to rename that kick. Now let's find the kick on the keyboard. So this part's way easier if you have a MIDI controller because then you can just smash the, the keys and figure out what's what. So we're going to go ahead and find the kick. Oh, look at that. It's conveniently on the right one. <laughs> now let's find a snare. See that guy lighting up there? D1, we're just gonna copy this over. You can hit control or uh, option. I think it's option drag on a Mac. And hit command R or control R and rename that snare. Now, that lights up. Let's find a hat. Call that a hat. One, two, three, whatever you wanna do. You can work through the entire drum kit like this. You can build your crashes in there. Whatever you like to do, just drag something on there and name it. Now, when we go in here, look. Nifty! That's wonderful. Now, what would be super clutch is you can go through and make racks for all of your individual drum plugins and then save them as instrument racks. So let's just call this Studio Drummer. You can just hit this little guy down here, boop, save it, and boom, you're done. And then you can recall that every time you bring that up and your racks will look fancy and nice. Hope that was helpful. If you liked it, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.